we've gotten so many new details on final fantasy 7 rebirth over the last few weeks and with the game awards happening in just a few days many including myself expect to see another trailer drop there maybe we can finally see vincent and sid in action but something i haven't seen discussed too much are these proto relics that appear on the overworld map the official final fantasy 7 twitter did tweet this out very briefly discussing what these locations could be and state that they alter space time and cause strange phenomena Let's discuss and break this down as much as we possibly can. But before we get into that, if you're as hyped as I am for Rebirth, be sure to like and subscribe because not only do I do videos breaking things down like this, I also make guides and there'll be plenty of guides on Rebirth when it does come out. If you look at the screenshot Square shared, you can see that Cloud & Co are likely doing the very first Proto Relic quest. They've made it to the location and are interrupted by decoys. This is the first red flag I see because this is Beck's badasses. Cloud knows who these guys are and so does Aerith. So why does the game label them as decoys? There's a few things I think this could be. First, it could be a manifestation of some sort, because if you look at the far left guy, he looks very gray and almost sickly or dead compared to his model and remake. He looks very alive and vibrant, and just regular skin tone. This could just be very bad lighting also, and probably is just that, but it is kind of weird. And it's, it's, I find it really weird they're called decoys. So either these guys aren't the real Bex badasses, and if they are, what exactly are they a decoy for? Who or what is trying to lure us away from the relics? The next thing I want to point out is that there are four proto relics in this area just outside of Calm. I believe it's called the Junon area, if I remember the name correctly. And these quests are red instead of yellow like the other things on the map. Two reasons I think these are red. One is that the proto relic quests are much higher in difficulty. And two, that they are very important side quests. So what I mean that they're of higher difficulty is that I think when we approach these relics, we will be greeted by a monster or an enemy of some sort. The decoys could be the first example of this, but why are they the ones here? Again, it's just strange. I think possibly they made it here first and found their proto relic, then we showed up. I don't think Beck's badasses are the real battle here. I think they're the start of the battle, but somehow activate the proto relic and the real battle begins a battle with a cetra or better put a cetra monster made when jenova turned them into monsters by infecting them when she crashed into gaia i think each time we interact with one of these relics we will get a glimpse of the past when the cetra were around up until their inevitable downfall by jenova messing with these relics releases some form of past enemies or monsters then after we defeat them we get to learn more about who and what the cetra were this kind of puts points one and two together but i think you get the idea these relics are pretty much memories of the planet or the Cetra that have been trapped purposely or accidentally in items that we find and we activate them to further understand Aerith and her people. The term proto is Greek for first or earliest form of, so I think these relics are from a time when the Cetra were thriving and somehow or some way the memories were trapped in the relics. We know the planet can manifest things like the black materia, the white materia, and the proto materia. So I think I could have done the same thing with these relics to try and have the Cetra live on in some way or to warn people about Genova and how dangerous she is. So what do you think about the proto relics? Do you think they're going to be a way for us to learn more about the Cetra? Or could it be something else entirely, like a connection with chaos and the proto materia? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more Rebirth content, check out this video here. Thanks for watching. Peace.